uh, today guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're gonna be making carne guisada tacos, homemade carne guisada with some cheese on there and homemade flour tortillas. I know that's everybody's favorite. And then the wife, of course, making her own favorite secret salsa. It ain't no secret, <laughs> but it's good. So we're gonna start right now. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need three pounds or whatever pounds of meat because I know meat is expensive right now. But you're gonna need three pounds of lean uh, beef stew meat and you're gonna cut them up if they're big, but then we're gonna boil it because this is gonna tenderize Water boils. the meat. You want it soft because nobody wants a hard carne guisada taco or nobody wants to bite into a hard yeah, piece of you meat. Want, you ain't trying to lose the teeth. <laughs> a teeth. I mean a tooth. Or or Whatever a couple of teeth. <laughs> but you're gonna let this boil probably for about mm, I wanna say like 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. That's ten, the more you boil it, the, longer, the more tender it gets. Depends how you want it. So we'll let that boil and then what you're gonna need over here. It's gonna be a, a half an onion, a uh, bell pepper, some cilantro that's gonna go in there at the end when it's done. You just throw it on top for garnish. And then uh, the wife is gonna make her salsa. She's gonna use tomatoes, onions, cilantro, green onion, and jalapeno. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna start prepping and cutting and then we'll see what it looks like. So we're going to be cutting the, the veggies for the stuff first and then we're going to hop on and making the tortillas since the meat has to take a little while. I mean and I usually just dice the onion. I'm not going to throw them in there yet, just wait a while. So I'm going to... This knife is just too small. It's already, you always gotta wash it, it's already been washed. So you're just gonna chop it up. Just go over it. You don't have to be like completely chopped. Chop. Then you put this with your onions so when it's ready to go. In there, it'll go in there. Then you're gonna get your bell pepper. You're gonna dice it. You're gonna seed it out. Take the seeds out of it. So it looks like that, no seeds. And then you're gonna cut it up and dice it up. Not too big, just like kind of small. This is what takes your gunnings out to a whole nother level. Gives it that flavor. Of course you get a little crown part too. Goes back over here, have it ready so when we start. And you're also gonna need uh, 
whole tomatoes again and a can of tomato sauce. So, well, let me start the chili. Yeah. So now the wife is going to start the chili. So you're going to need a garlic, one whole tomato. Wash it. A half an onion. And let me, you have to take out this, this part right here because I don't like it. It's like the chewy part. And then you're gonna need one jalapeno. Oh. And you're gonna boil it. A lot of people, they like to fry it or whatever, but I don't. I'm just gonna boil it. One tomato, one garlic, half an onion, and one jalapeno. You know, wash it. You can put as many jalapenos as you want in there. It's only gonna be like a small salsa. And you're gonna let that boil until it softens. And then once it softens, then we'll throw it in the bl blender with cilantro. And it's good, really good. It's easy and good. But now, Mr. Roy over here is gonna make homemade tortillas, which is funny because um, I don't know how to make tortillas. Like, I literally don't know how to make tortillas. Like, I mean, I can probably put the ingredients together. But for some reason, my tortillas always look like patas or steaks. And I don't like that. His come out wrong. So. I like, I'm going to cheat because I bought the flour that has everything in it already. <laughs> um, you just add hot water, lukewarm water. Not hot, hot where you're burning your fingers. And I have gloves on because it gets a little messy when you're whipping it in a bowl. And as you... As many company as you have, like as many people you have in your home, uh, like I'm only gonna make enough for like maybe I'm gonna make 12 tortillas because there's only six of us here. We usually get like two tacos a piece. And the dog. Oh, and we can't forget the dog, so I gotta make 13. She can't eat tortillas. No, my dog eats tortillas. My no, dog eats what we eat. And once you get your flour in the bowl. Like that, you always want to have some on the side. Once you're rolling your tortilla, you always, sometimes you have to dip it in there in case it gets stuck. And you always gonna have one of these because this is one you have. You need one of these rollers. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the magic happen. Yeah, but you just need it just in case, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can get violent with it. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna put your water in there slowly. And you're gonna mix in there so it all comes together. Just like that. If you put a little too much water in it, you can just add more flour and it'll balance it out. Balance it out. See how it's coming together? Oop. It's got a Get it together real good. Let me add a little bit of flour, some of this flour. See how it's becoming into a whole water flour tortilla dough. Just like that. I'm gonna take it out of this bowl. I'm gonna like to do it on this wooden board, it's better. Just sprinkle some of this on there. And just work your fingers in it. Just like that. A little more. So what do you do? You need you you need until it's not sticky no more. Yeah, just so you can be able to form, make, put it together and make the tortilla. Because if not, it's gonna keep on. If you make it too gooey and wet, it's gonna keep on sticking on your roller. Mm. And you're gonna have a half tortilla on the roller, half tortilla on your board. Mm. So. 
what you want to have right here. Just like that. So we're going to put this back in the bowl. And I'm going to roll one out for you so you can see. You don't need that much. Just a little ball like that goes a long way. You're going to dip it in your flour. And you just cuff it in like that in a circle. Just like that. And you can get your magic stick right here. And you're just going to roll away. Just like that. Very easy. It's not too hard. Maybe getting a straight circle, but... Hey. It's going to tear up your mouth anyways. And there you go, once you have a tortilla, you're gonna go to your comal over here. And you're gonna cook it in there, a few minutes on each side. Look at that, it looks good. It smells good already. Give it a flip. And there you go, you got your homemade tortilla. Get you a man who can make you homemade tortillas. I love homemade tortillas. And it's almost ready. You, just, you can get it as golden as you want on any side. Some people like it burned, some people like it half cooked. It's all Burn. up to your likings. I do. I like it a little toasty with butter. Oh my God. When we were little, we used to eat it with butter. I love tortilla, tortilla with butter. It's butter. real good. So we, we grew up with tortilla with butter. Sugar. Or we would even eat a tortilla with mayonnaise. I mean... We just did, we just did weird things when we were little. We used to try a lot of different things. So this tortilla is ready. So we're just gonna wait for the meat and the chile to be ready and then we'll be back. So stay tuned guys. So the meat's still boiling. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer cause you do want it tender. You want it soft, really, really soft. Like I said, the more you boil it, the softer it gets. Yeah. But you see how it's coming together. And then all this gunk, it's going to kind of like make like gunk stuff. So you just take it out. Well, we kind of already started to take it out. But it's just the it's, meat. It's, it's just the meat. But we're going to finish the chile because the chile is already done. So you want your chile to look like that. You want your tomato to look like this. See how it's peeling? And then your onion, everything's really, really soft. And you're gonna get you a spoon. So you're gonna throw it all in there. Your tomato, your garlic, your jalapeno, your green onion. Then you're gonna throw your cilantro. Cilantro, oh my goodness. It takes it to, it's like the best thing. Cilantro take, cilantro will take anything to another level. You're gonna add some water, just a little bit. And you add as you, you add as you go. You're gonna put tomato sauce. It's a half a can. You're also gonna put salt. Some people use the nor or the, the caldo de pollo, we don't. We'll just put salt, it's to your liking, it's to your taste, how you like it. If you like it salty, make it salty. If you don't, you don't, you know, you put less salt. And then we'll just put it in We're going to 
taste it. It's a little hot. Mmm. That's good. See? Can we get a bowl? Can we get a bowl? <clears throat> this chili is probably the easiest chili you can make. And then you're going to pour it. Ooh. Look at that. It smells good. And you're going to put it to the side. Mm. And you're going to... Don't put a lid on it. Leave it open like that because if not, it will swell. It will turn bad. It'll... Um, how do you say? It? It'll spoil. So you want to make sure that you just leave it setting like that. And when you're going to put it away after you're done eating or done with it, make sure that it's temperature, you know, room temperature or whatever, a little cold. Don't put it in the fridge hot because then that's a waste It'll of chili. It'll spoil. So we came over here back with the meat. Uh, the meat's about halfway there. It's already nice and tender. What you want to do now is the ingredients we cut up, we're going to throw them in there and let them boil with the, with the meat for a little bit and then get them tender. Throw your bell peppers in there and your onion. And then your garlic. And one more garlic. I usually put two cloves. that around and once these get uh, the onion and bell pepper get tender you're gonna add in your cilantro at the end but also you're gonna add in a can of tomato sauce I like to put tomato sauce in the color and then also some whole tomato um, get a knife Put tomato in there. Just, like that. Just cut it up, dice it up in there. And you don't have to worry about a lot of juice in there because you're gonna turn. That's all gonna turn into a gravy. And also, you want to add a little bit of comino, just a little sprinkle. And maybe a little bit more salt. And you're gonna mix it all together. It's gonna look like that, it's okay. And what you do to make a gravy, when you're making any kind of uh, gravy or carnes, any kind of meat or that has, requires a gravy, you always want to get some flour, any kind of flour and get a little bit, I use a little bit of oil and turn it into like a little, uh, kind of like a paste because you only need a little bit of this and it's going to turn that into gravy. Thicken it up. I like my carnes uh, gravy style. I don't like it watery. So we're gonna give it this a couple more minutes. Let it boil for about five, 10 minutes and then it should be ready. We'll add our cilantro and we'll be almost ready. Stay tuned. Okay guys, uh, as you can see, it's already been boiling with the bell peppers and everything in there. As you can see, it looks delicious, it smells good. What you do now is uh, I wanna add the cilantro in there. Just for a garnish, make adds a color to it. You don't have to if you don't want to. I I just do it. This it looks better. And then we are gonna add our flour and oil mixture, not that much. Make it into like a little gravy. As you can see. Now it's gravy. It thickened it up. You can you don't have to make it that thick or if you want like it runny, it's up to you. So this is 
pretty much what it's supposed to look like. Now we are going to start, turn it off. And we are going to start making up. Well, she's starting to slice the avocado because we like avocado in her taco. You don't have to put it, but we like it. It's so good. Avocado makes everything better. Yeah, even the dog likes it. She actually does like avocado. She likes anything. And these are the tortillas. Homemade. No store-bought. No H-E-B. <laughs> better than any of that. So what I'm going to do... I'm gonna grab the tortilla. Make a taco, how uh, fat as you want it. And we're gonna add our cheese to it. Come over here, our cheese to it. Mm -mm -mm. And then you also wanna throw some avocado in there. Maybe like two slices. And you're gonna top it off with this salsa. Just like that. Now the fun part is trying it out. Sure I don't burn my mouth. <laughs> Did you burn it? A little bit. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> Man, that's the best carne asada taco I ever had. Let me see. Ain't no carne asada better than mine. Oh, what do you think? It's nice and tender. Mmm. That avocado takes it to a whole other level. It is so good, but I just burned the hell out of my mouth. <laughs> Well, guys, Ooh. as you can see, we are done with this uh, dish. Mm -hmm. uh, please stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow the follow us on our Instagram page, The Elizardos. And um, if you have anything you want us to make, please let us know. I hope you like this dish as much as we do. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.